So we're going to start with a bit of a review from last time. And just real quickly, I wanted to point out that when I derived the 1D conservation of mass equation last time, I accidentally put in a little dx right here. There was a dx in both of these terms. That shouldn't have been there because, you know, m dot is a flux, right? It's a, it's a, it's a mass per unit area per time, right? So, and I want as a mass rate, so I want mass per time. So all I have to do is multiply by area, a, and just for some reason I, I, I multiplied by volume, a dx, okay? Um, now. The final answer didn't, didn't matter because these two terms you can see, even if the dx's are there or not, they cancel, you know, as long as it's in both of them, they cancel each other as a whole. So the final answer is uh, the same. There was just a mistake in the derivation. And so this dx should not be there. And in these notes uh, that I, you know, that I posted, the ones that I just pulled up, uh, you notice the dx wasn't there. So I went back in before I posted them online. I went back in and erased it, erased it. So the notes online from last lecture are correct. And also, I posted the videos. I don't know if anybody's watched the videos yet. Probably not. You, no one ever watches them until they have to do a homework and a test. Uh, but if you do go and watch it, uh, you know, in the post-processing, I put a little annotation up saying I, I shouldn't have put a DX there. So, okay. <coughs> 